Tous and was where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Tous and was. You have been chosen and not forsaken. You are a child of God. I'm telling you. The Lord says I should tell you that you have been chosen and not forsaken. The Lord says when even your mom and your dad has no intention of creating you when they were thinking of just having fun he god almighty knew you and has knelt you in your mother's womb the lord says before the foundation of the earth he has chosen you and he has planted you in your mother's belly and as you were there he watches over you he protected you he has seen every part of your being your intestines your large and small intestines your pancreas your liver your heart your lungs your 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 faculties your system your bones your bone marrow your your brain your neurons your nerves your tissues every part of your being the lord says he knows everything about you even when you were in your mother's womb the lord says he knows everything about you and he has a plan for you a plan to give you hope and a future the lord says all the days you will be spending on this earth were all recorded in his book so he knows everything about you for this reason you have been chosen and you are chosen for a reason for a special mission so you must fear not fear not because god knows you fear not because god is with you fear not because god is going with you the lord says in your going out he has chosen you therefore he is with you in your coming in he has chosen you therefore he is with you in whatever you going to do he said he has chosen you and he is with you he said you are the apple of his eyes and he watches over you day and night and he will never ever forsake you he said he has brought you far and he cannot give up on you because you are his daughter you are his son you are one that he god loves so much and you must see yourself as such god says i should tell you you are a royal priesthood you are not just an ordinary person you are extraordinary you are a supernatural being you are a king you are a queen you are a princess in the eyes of god that is who god sees you to be for this reason chosen one never ever keep belittling yourself despising yourself and looking down upon yourself for God has plans for you he has thoughts of good for you as a person as you have this life remember God is not done with you yet and don't think you are tired and exhausted of yourself so you are going to give up no the lord says i should tell you that so many years that is to you or to human beings to people are just like a second in his hands and he when the time is right he will make it happen so exercise patient keep staying faithful and keep trusting in he in he god for he is with you he said you should not worry because first you did not create yourself it wasn't you who has planted yourself in your mother's belly the lord says he made that happen 
and nothing happens by accident but everything happens for a reason the law says this life you are living as a chosen one life is happening for you and not to you therefore whatever you're going through count it all joy because you will certainly grow through what you go through and what is meant for you Whatever evil that is being made for you, he said he will turn it to your good as he did Joseph, he will do it for you. He said whatever thought of evil, thought of doom that the enemy has towards you, he will turn it for your good. He says whatever situation that you are in, keep enduring. Keep enduring because faith keeps persevering. Faith, faith keep persisting. Faith keep forbearing. Faith keep exercising patience and trusting the process. That no matter what, for sure, God is going to make it happen. That no matter what you're going through, He, God, is saying something. God says He has chosen you. He has chosen you. And you are going to step into your season of increase, your season of abundance, your season of breakthrough, your season of favor, your season of mercy, your season of turning around, your season of expansion, your season of elevation, your season of increase, of group, of prosperity, of affluence, of abundance. The law says you should not have a limiting belief or the thought of scarcity for abundance is your best right and that is how you should see yourself you should see yourself as a victor and not a victim because he has chosen you you should see yourself as the head and not the tail because he has chosen you you should see yourself as an achiever and not a failure because he god has chosen you and he is right with you and he will be with you from now from now right from the time you were born up to now to the end of your life he is going to be with you therefore fear not be courageous and keep on moving forward no matter what comes your way no matter what the situation on the outside look like god says don't give up on yourself don't give up on him keep pushing knowing that he is with you and when god is with you i'm telling you changes are beginning when god is with you you should know that all things are working together for your good when god when god is with you you are a winner man when god is with you there is no limitation when god is with you ah every hill every mountain shall be leveled for your sake when god is with you your head will be anointed with oil when god is with you a table will be set before you in the presence of your enemies when god is with you no weapon formed against you shall prosper when god is with you you will definitely definitely certainly grow through whatever you go through and what you're facing in this life it is not to impair you it is to improve you whatever you're facing in this life it is not to stop you but it is to preserve you for an extraordinary service because the lord's eyes are on you the lord's unseen hand is directing your ways it's protecting you chosen one keep staying faithful and have confidence in god because god is reliable god is dependable god is good all the time i tell you it will happen you have been chosen and not forsaken you are what god says you are you have what god says you have and you can do what god says you can do I'm telling you, defeat and failures are things of the past. You are linked up with God. Jesus Christ is your family lawyer. He is sitting on your case. Chosen one, there is no need to fear. There is no need to panic. At the right time, 
it will definitely happen for you. Stay blessed. You are chosen and not forsaken. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.